Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative, speaking to Jeremy Ray Taylor about Senior Year, which is going to be streaming on Netflix May 13th. Welcome back to the show, man. It's so good to see you. Good to see you too, man. Thanks for having me again. No problem. You know, a little right off the bat, I mean, a little change of pace, say, than a lot of projects we're used to working on, right? Like the It movies, How You Pretty the Dark, Goosebumps. I mean, a rom com, right? Or like, you know, a teen comedy. I mean, was it yeah. a bit, it's all storytelling, but like, it was a cool change of pace a little bit, right? Yeah. No, you just said it perfectly. Cause like, although it is all storytelling, it's definitely just like a little bit of different change of pace for sure. Um, <laughs> Senior year, especially uh, less big sky than, than senior year, because um, senior year I'm a cheerleader in, and that's obviously very, very different from everything I've ever done. So yeah. uh, it was a blast, but it was definitely different. Definitely different. Was there a lot of like training and learning the moves? Like, what was that like choreography? Like, what was that all like? I would say like seventy five percent of the work yeah. was all rehearsals, all like going to the dance Whoa, studio more and than half. like a hundred percent, like one hundred percent. And I'm not in it like a ton, like I was it or anything like that. So, yeah. you know, saying that it was most of my work isn't that big of a deal. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it was, I mean, it was every day and we had amazing, amazing dance coordinators and, and, oh yeah, it was great. So like, yeah, like you said, like you weren't familiar with like the cheerleading world that much and everything. Do you have a kind of like a respect now for cheerleader like, in terms of the athletic? 100%, <laughs> 100%. Cause like what you don't think about is like, yeah, they're just doing like that. But there's so much more than it, like to it than that. Cause you, you do that for the first time. And they're like, Oh no, like put your wrist forward, <laughs> have it completely straight, be strong. Like don't, it's like, it's completely different than you'd ever think. And so I hope people kind of catch on to like the bigger details. Cause we did really put a lot of effort into, into our dances. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was a totally yeah. new thing. It's crazy because I remember, you know how it is with like social media and everything. And then it was just kind of next level. When a movie is kind of released, there's always different kind of stages, right? Like, before the release date, there's like the announcement of the cast, right? And then there's like TikToks of you all dancing to Fast by so, yes. so you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, like the, I saw that TikTok and I was like, oh my goodness. Like I recognize a lot of people I know from other projects in this. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. what is going on? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It gets crazy, man. It gets crazy. It gets really, really crazy. Are you getting used to, though, the kind of the marketing of how things kind of get out there in the world? Like, there's many stages. Announcements, yes. trailers, release dates. <laughs> it's definitely weird, but, like, and it's, you know, something I never thought I'd ever get used to. Because, you know, whenever you do your first movie, it's, like, completely, like, brand new and, and it's a completely new world. But believe it or not, you do get a little used to it. Yep. Um, but, yeah, like you know, you have like the beginning where the cast is released. You got the three pictures at the top, tell you the names and all that stuff. And then people are trying to like figure out what it is and, and where people are going to be and like who has the biggest roles and, and things like that. So it's really fun for that like beginning stage is to see people try and put together the movie without knowing anything. Like um, it's crazy because they announced, you know, that a, it like prequel welcome to dairy is being made. Yes. And I just, I will, I will remember like that the day the announcement like a couple of weeks ago when i read that like i will remember that and then hopefully you know in a couple like a year or so or whatever it comes out i'll be able to like interview some of the cast and be like i remember when this was like announced like there's right, nothing sure. about it there's no casting you know what i mean yeah it's a whole different kind of world now with right the anticipations i feel like when i feel like it was a brand new thing that we've just been introducing movies and saying they're going to come out like five years later like <laughs> We never did that before, and now all of a sudden they're like, "Oh yeah, this is coming in 2030." What well, was why are you telling like, us now? <laughs> like, so, what was it like for you, like yourself, Jack Finn, when they did the announcement of who was going to play the grown-ups? Because that was a big day, right, for everyone on set, right, for the second one, like huge. Yeah. <laughs> and I honestly can't remember if we, if they had the announcement or they told us first. Okay, I think they told us first. Yeah. Um, but no, yeah, it was huge to the public. I mean, everybody was like freaking out. People were like, this is never going to work. There were like people that were like, this is perfect. You never really know. Um, but I'll never forget the day uh, Andy, the director, he he showed me the baby picture of Jay Ryan. And we look identical. Like, it's the craziest Whoa. thing, man. 
Um, and so that was really, really strange. But yeah, I mean, that was a huge day for everybody. Are you still kind of getting used to the fact that those movies are never going away? It's weird. Yeah. But I'm definitely getting used to well, it. Well, they're yeah. never going away. Right. Exactly. I mean, I, I, that's kind of the hope, too, is like, yeah. you know, it'll be a cult following forever. And hopefully I can branch off and kind of be known for other things. But And, and, and you are. You're doing an amazing job. And we're talking about senior year and we're talking about... Um, Big Sky, I have some questions about that as well because that's really cool. But yeah, no, it's it's really cool to see. I'm happy for you, man. No, honestly. Thank you, man. Thank you. Last time you came on, we talked about like a movie you were working on. And, so yeah, if I'm thinking of the right movie, uh, it's still in like pre-production. Believe it or not, I can't but believe that was it, so long it ago. It takes a wow. long time to make movies. <laughs> it does. I've never been like attached to something so soon or like so on the yeah. front end of it, yeah. and so. It's definitely new. It's definitely new and a little stressful because it's like, is this really going to happen? But it's, well, it's I, one I think of those it will. things where, like, we did the interview like during the pandemic, where like everyone was just like, <laughs> you were Nothing just like, going yeah, on, we, <laughs> we're just like, what can we talk about? And you're like, well, I have right. this like movie that I'm starting to like get the wheels in motion. We're for. like starting to talk about, and you know, maybe it'll, we'll see. And yeah, no, yeah, it's so yeah, we're yeah. further along. Okay. But we're still, I mean, I, I think I'm the only the, one that's cast it. I can't wait for the interview that we do. <laughs> literally. <laughs> we're like, literally. the movie's coming out. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, is this the thing that we were talking about yeah, seven years ago? It's going to be like a pop turn of Jeremy Ray Taylor kind of special specialty yeah. where it just kind of gets brought up. Like, any update about the movie, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Someday. Someday I'll have more updates. Um, um, but no, I'm still super excited about it. No, absolutely. Here's the thing. Big Sky, you're joining a show that's very popular when it's kind of established characters, had seasons and everything. What's that mindset like? That's obviously an overwhelming mindset. That's an interesting kind of spot you're in because people don't know your character, but they're familiar with everything else. I'm just curious about that. It's definitely... um... A little intimidating, yeah. Because you know, Big Sky got a cult following real fast, yeah. Um, and I started getting recognized by a completely different demographic, yep. Um, by like you know, I had like some elderly people recognize me, and they'll be like, "Can I take a picture of you?" And I was like, "You want to take a picture like with me?" And they're like, "No, just of you. I just want to prove that to my husband that I've seen you before." It's like, yeah. "How about you take a picture with me?" Like, he's like, "Oh, that's a great idea." And so like you know, it's it's a completely different demographic, and um, it's. I mean, it's super cool, and and I think it went pretty well, but it's definitely hard to, like, have the audience love a character that hasn't been established when there's characters that are already loved so much. Well, I mean, just the people kind of involved with that show and just kind of adding, like, announcing that you're joining the cast and everything and, like, all the different changes. I mean, you know, Patrick Gallagher, who we've interviewed on the show many times, great guy, like, he joins, too. It's just, like, it's it's, like... It got bigger and bigger every season, I feel like, yes. which is pretty cool. Definitely, yeah. And and I don't know if they're doing a third season or not. I don't know if we have confirmation on that. Um, but no, yeah, I mean, it was a blast. And it was my first time really doing television. So that was brand new for me too. And the, yeah, it was good. Absolutely. But let's say it wasn't your first time doing television. I always feel like that's such a crazy thing, like joining like a season two as a new character. Like I feel like- right. I just feel like there's emotions all over the place with that. Cause I feel like it's going to be hard no matter what. Right. For sure. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was it, like I said, I mean, it was definitely intimidating, but I think it worked out really well. Cause you have to kind of win the audience over. Cause no one really knows who the character is. That's the, that's, right. that's what I think. And there's all already like fan favorites. Definitely. And it's like, can you come in and like steal the thunder from that fan favorite? Right. It's all these, right. it's like pressure like that yeah. i don't think you can escape basically no yeah and it's like half up to the writing and half up to the acting and, and it depends on you know whether you're a lovable character and it's pretty hard to stand up to the two leads of that show i mean they're they're freaking awesome so you obviously got cast for the eight movies when you were really young but like were you hoping that it was going to kind of happen where you were able to kind of branch out or were you kind of just like i'll go where the opportunities are um at the beginning the i was yeah right at the beginning i was definitely like whatever comes i'll do yeah. for sure um but Definitely now that I've gotten a little bit more established, I'm just hoping to branch out as much as possible. Um, I've got three things that I'm really close to booking, I think, that are all filming at the exact same time. And so, like, it all is really going to come down to 
what I think will branch me out the most. Well, I don't know um, if that. So what does that mean about the movie? <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I hop on a flight whenever they want me to, yeah, yeah. and I say what they want me to, man. No, I'm saying about that movie that, like... That oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude. Once again, I have no freaking idea when, when that's going to happen. Yeah, no, it's it's, it's one of the, the... Were you prepared, though, for it to be, like, the way it is, were very, like, kind of sporadic and, you know, all over the place? I mean, I'm sure, like, your parents talk to you about it, and you're like your agents and everything like it's so kind of thrown in the fire zero to 100 like like i feel like (laughs) it's definitely like i mean when we started we had no idea it would be like that at all yeah um i wish i could say that my parents talked to me about it but they were learning just as much as me at the start and so it was definitely i mean really strange whenever we would get a call and they're like hey can you come out tomorrow and then for my very first pilot that i did in l.a I went out for the, for like the screen test, I guess yep. what it's called. Um, and they were like, Hey, can you stay here for just a minute for, for some travel things? And we're like, okay, sure. So everybody else left and they were like, Hey, you got the role. And I was like, I have two pairs of clothes in my suitcase. Like I came down here for a screen test and now I'm staying for, for three, you know, for like a month. So <laughs> it's definitely like, you have to be able to go super with the flow um but i'm used to that now and i love it like i've I've learned to embrace that for sure but it was definitely new what was it like working with uh rebel wilson on uh, senior year amazing man i mean she's freaking awesome and she's just as funny as you would think like in person um just imagine her without a character and that's exactly what she is in real life i mean she's she's amazing you gotta work with some really cool people on that joshua collie melissa mino there's some cool people on that that's awesome no yeah we all had like this huge huge bond and friendship and you know we were all sitting in some same hotel and stuff like that so we always hung out and nobody really knew what we were doing when it when it came to the dancing and so we were all learning that together and all equally as terrified of it yeah so um yeah i mean it was it was really really awesome definitely some really awesome people in that project oh 100 percent. if you look at like the loser club the it the it club there's 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 six of you seven 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 of you it's really cool to see that like everyone's kind of doing cool different projects and everyone has something going on. I know chosen has sneakerella coming out soon. Yep. Like that, that's pretty cool. Like, do you ever like talk about that when you see them? Like, wow, like, we all, we all have things on the go now because of this movie. Like, <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's, that's probably the most crazy part is like all seven. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the reason we, we bonded so well on it or one of the reasons that we bonded so well on it was like, this was brand new for pretty much all of us, except for Finn. I mean, he did Stranger Things, yep. but he didn't know about like the fame or anything like that because it wasn't out then. Yep. And so we all were kind of learning and now we're all kind of considered veterans. I don't like to say that about myself, but we're kind of <laughs> considered like, you know, established actors. And so, no, yeah, they just stopped by on, on their road trip and we, we talked all about that. And so, yeah, I mean, it's it's really, really crazy. And I've been waiting for Sneak Real to be announced for so long. I've been so like excited about that he told me about that like a year ago it's so so crazy but uh when people get a chance to watch senior year what are you hoping they get out of it takeaway wise it's a fun movie yes so it's gonna be one of those movies like i mean it's obviously freaking funny rebel yeah. wilson's in it so it's going to be <laughs> um but at the end you're gonna like start crying and you're not gonna know why and so like there's amazing messages in it there's like really really good dancing in it there's oh dude it's gonna be like the pinnacle of like everything you, super funny super yeah. good messages very dramatic amazing actors like it's gonna be really cool are you pumped for it to finally come out like it's pretty crazy it's coming out soon absolutely man i can't wait i mean yeah. we worked on it really really hard with the dancing and stuff like that so i can't wait for all that to come out and be able to like actually see it finished product absolutely jeremy thank you so much for coming back on pop turn it was great catching up of course, man. man yeah of course man thank you so much for having me yeah so may 13th it's going to be available on Netflix worldwide, worldwide. Like you just kind of like throw it out there in the world season, right? It's crazy. Yeah. Definitely weird. Definitely <laughs> weird. Um, I love it though. Yeah. People, Jim Ray Taylor, just on Instagram, Twitter, they'll find you, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's pretty easy. Jim Ray Taylor on all of them. Yeah. But this has been Pop Turn of YouTube.com slash Pop Turn for previous episodes. Until next time, it's Jim Ray Taylor and Pity Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Popternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. 
This has been an Autograph Communications production.